What's going on, people? It is Friday, the 3rd of March, and I'm gonna. This is another brief one for a number of reasons, mainly because I'm so freaking busy. I want to do a review um, for sure today and then uh, an update on me. Let me shut this down. Getting ready to go join a group of friends to um, mourn and celebrate the memory of my friend Kevin McNulty, who I mentioned you yesterday. Thank you, folks, who offered your condolences. You you know you don't have to. You don't know me. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you, the majority of you, for understanding that I'm just expressing myself here. When I express different emotions, it is not meant for anyone out there to take personally. Even when I get mad at the president, it's not that I want to insult him. I'm, I'm expressing anger, justified frustration, rage, and anger. It's justified. So I will call names to the president if I feel like it. That's on you watchers to take it personally. If you can't understand, it's on you. I received yesterday on the way to, I was out, out of, heading out of my house to the radio station when the postman comes up with a package. And it's um, a, a small envelope. Turns out it's um, Carla Diratz. I will I will call you a new friend, even though we have not met Carla. I can feel you across the miles. Carla sent me a copy of her Electric Suite. I believe she released this in 2012 or 2013. With the basis there, Corentin Capu, something like that. I. Um, First became acquainted with Carla online through, I think it's through being involved, getting involved with Gonzalo Fuentes' um, comp uh, project Frets of Yore. Carla is also on it. Uh, she's from France, a singer, per a performer, perform musician. Um, I've checked her out online, watched quite a few uh, videos of her work, and she is the real deal. So I'm really pleased that Carla, you sent this to me. I've listened to it all the way through once and partially a second time. This is very intense. At one time, I think you would have called the type of singing that Carla does torch singing. Carla has a big voice and a good voice, a very strong voice, but she sings from deep within and it's very emotional. I can't always make out the words, but I can almost always feel what Carla is singing, which I think is extraordinary. The other thing I want to say, first impressions about Carla, is that um, it's very cool because I can hear the, I can hear it rising out of herself as it comes. There are several parts here where she's building up, and you can hear it building up, literally before she actually utters something. It makes it very powerful. She, it's a it's a duet with this bass player who's, he's playing with um, distortion and a really jagged, cutting, kind of almost glass sound on the bass. It's very, very fitting with Carla's voice. This is not easy listening. It's compelling. Um, I can imagine being at a performance, seeing this, and, and being brought at times to tears or other emotions. Carla, I do want to um, boost you big time because you are the kind of artist that the world has, but we don't get to hear through the mainstream media because you're too real. And that's my big complaint about the world is that everything is too controlled. And um, everything is about the bottom line, about who can make a profit on it. And the profit makers, you know, have taken over everything. And the average person doesn't realize that they did realize that they just go along with the, with the story. Well, I see it, and so I'm always speaking out against it. Carla, thank you for being real and sending me this music. Your voice is amazing, and this work needs to be here needs to be heard by a lot of people. I recommend this to all of my adventurous listeners, all of you folks who um, 
are interested in hearing real art. The Electric Suite by Carla Diratz and Corentin. This is it. This is it right here. I don't even know how available this is. I, look, I tried to find this online. I couldn't find any. I could find reviews, but it's not on Discogs. So um, there's a there's a there's a link on here to MySpace, but MySpace is so spammed up with junk that um, I don't re recommend going there. Uh, Carla, if you see this and there's a way for folks to get this, to buy this from you, let me know and I'll pass it on. Last thing I'll say is political. Once again, I want to say that I will not mince words and I will not hold back what I'm thinking and feeling here. The guy that's in the presidential office does not represent minorities, does not represent um, LGBT, the LG, you know, the others. I'm also really sickened by the fact that so many people cannot see the obvious pathology of this spoiled, uh, rich bully. You can't see it, can you? And you get and you want to get mad at me for pointing it out. Trump is a tragedy. Yeah, I'll, this is my channel. I can do this if I want to. And if you don't like it, <laughs> I do. I don't. No, I do care. I do care. I think it's too bad that we have such a division in the world. It's just too bad. So, I always will put that in there when I'm feeling it. And I'm feeling it these days all the time. But I'll, I'll end on the positive note. Carla DeRatz. I'm not sure I'm saying your name right, Carla. But people, find out about Carla. There are some of you who are going to be surprised that you've never heard this woman before.